morning I want to this is true southern accent and I want to show you how to make easy vegetable soup without having a garden that you got to fool with all summer and canning so the recipe is, is that good mm -hmm. you can add and subtract whatever you want so I've got four cans of uh, hunts or whatever tomatoes you can go with a cheaper but it's diced and make sure it has salt and sugar nothing's taken around the very important to use the slow cooker liners um two cans of diced potatoes so you ain't gotta peel them cut them and then it takes all day to cook them and sometimes you might not have all day so i just use canned tomatoes potatoes and they're very good okay you two cans of mixed vegetable but you don't have to get no name brand just whatever um i'm using one can of carrots but you can use beans or whatever you want to substitute for now we do two cans of corn you can do what you can substitute one of those for something what are you laughing about oh right, that's our dog know. playing with her toy in there Okay, so this is the uh, slow cooker bags that we were talking about. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Slow cooker bags. So you just want to put it down in there. Okay, this has helped to uh, wash the crock pot after it's done. Okay, um, one thing you want to do is on the temperature, um, I'm doing low, I'll do it high. If it, everything's pretty much cooked, it's just all just sitting in it all day. But I cooked the meat last night. There's a video on that. Uh, throw the meat in there, and then just start throwing the vegetables in. And I don't drain anything because the juice, the juice in it, um, helps with the the soup. something you can do as you're running out the door like we are literally yeah we're in a hurry and i gotta go to school and those are diced carrot if you get the just the plain cut carrot you just stick a uh, butter knife down in it and cut butter it. knife down in it a butter knife so you just pile them all in there that's, that's some pretty colors mm. okay what we got here and this will be a crock pot full, so I don't know if you can have any more cans. You just gotta substitute some of them. So then you want to just mix all. Oh my goodness, my spoon just broke. Why? Wow, but <laughs> and I did not drain anything, so it's still the liquid in it. Now, if you use more than I did, it's gonna be too full. So you, you gotta substitute maybe one of the corns or something like that. I do not have any beans in it. You know what's funny? Um, why are you putting sugar in it? Because you put sugar in it. Okay, so you put one teaspoon, teaspoon. of sugar. And you don't want you don't want more than a teaspoon. Like don't even heap it up. See that much? <laughs> Okay, but the salt, you might want more. Then you do one sugar. Make sure it's one sugar, because I did two sugars and it wasn't no good. <clears throat> and then you do two salts, and then you heap up the salt. Um, what was you gonna say? Uh, dang, I forgot. Oh, with my blurry, I'll put a little bit more. For, with my blurry, blurry vision, it looks <laughs> like weird colored Skittles. Okay, with my broke spoon here. <laughs> um, when you do your meat, make sure you salt it. I think I forgot. Um, so I'll put a little bit more salt in there because I forgot to salt the meat. Oh, that does not sound good. It does not sound good. Oh, it sounds so wet. I mean, it yes. is, but... Oh, okay. Chilled on my spine. <laughs> okay, so that's all you do. You just throw everything in there. One sugar, two salt. 
teaspoon. Teaspoon is the smaller spoon, not the biggest spoon. Okay, then you just put the lid on it, make sure it's plugged up, make sure it's on high, and then just run out the door. All right, so the alarm just went off. Okay, uh, check me out on more of my videos. I've done uh, how to make easy chili. I've got to do uh, roast and potatoes and carrots in the crock pot. Check out all my videos. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe, whatever you need to do.